This is the third presentation in a series looking at the use of hyperlinks within Microsoft PowerPoint. And in this presentation, we're going to look at how to link to other files. So, first of all, I'll just come into the editing mode. Um, the easiest way is just to link to a file. So here I've got some text, and I'm going to highlight my text. I'm going to go to Insert and Hyperlink. And then here on the left hand side, it's got the option of existing file or web page. I can then use my folder structure here to browse through and find my fi files. And I'm going to link to uh, a PowerPoint presentation, for example, one that I've created earlier. And I'll click on OK. It will make the text blue and look like a hyperlink. And then when I run the presentation, if I click on that link, it will then open up that new file. Now with the PowerPoint presentation, it will open it up directly in the presentation mode. So it won't come up in the editing mode, it will come up in the presentation. I'll often, rather than creating one big presentation, I'll often create more smaller presentations and then just link them together. So when the person viewing it watches it, they don't realize it's different presentations, but it just means it's more manageable and it's then easier for me to do different things with it in the future. But there's another thing that a lot of people don't realize is that you can actually link to a specific part of another file and we can use PowerPoint, Word and Excel. So if I use PowerPoint, I'm going to highlight my text that I want to hyperlink to. I again choose the hyperlink option. I'm going to choose the same file, but this time I'm going to click on the word bookmark. What that then does is it will list the slides within the presentation that I've chosen. So I can then select which slide in particular I want to jump to. So I'm going to jump to slide four and I'll click on OK. So that's quite straightforward. Word is a little bit trickier and what we have to do is we have to take a Word file. So I've got one here that I've created in advance. Uh, it's a simple Word document. Here's my heading or my title and then on my second page I've got um, a subheading which is what I want to link to. Now what we need to do is in the Word file we need to insert a bookmark. So I, so I go to the insert option, click on bookmark and I have to enter a word and wherever the cursor is positioned it will attach a bookmark to it. Now you can't have any spaces or other characters so usually just a simple word, single word is the easiest way of doing it. So I'm going to call this bookmark uses and add. I need to remember what word I've used later on. So what's happened is in my Word file, it's added this invisible bit of code uh, that's just a bookmark. And you can have multiple bookmarks within a, present, uh, within a Word document. So I'm just going to save that. I'm going to come back to my PowerPoint presentation. I'm going to highlight my text. Again, go to hyperlink. And I'm going to choose the file. Now what it's done is it's put down at the bottom here the address of the file. And then what I need to do is I need to add a little bit of code at the end, and it's simply the hash key followed by whatever I chose as my bookmark. So it's the name of the file, hash, and then the name of the bookmark, click on OK, and that should then link to that part of the document. We'll check them in a minute. Excel, again, here's an Excel sheet that I pre prepared earlier. So this is, I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller so we can see the whole thing. So this is a three sheet uh, spreadsheet and I want to link to sheet three and in particular this cell here. Okay, so cell B2. So I'll come back to my presentation and I'll highlight the word Excel, click on my link. There's the file. Again, it's brought the information down. What I need to add this time is the hash key again. I then need to add the name of the sheet, which is sheet three, an exclamation mark, and then the cell reference, which in this case is B2. So I'll click on B2 and OK. So if I just go back to that and flip it back to sheet one, and then again, Word, I'll move up to the top and go into PowerPoint, and we're going to run the slideshow from the current slide. So if I go to Word first, it will open up Word, and you can see it's jumped straight to where that bookmark was. I'll come back to here, Excel, click on the Excel one and you'll see it's jumped to sheet 3 and where it says this is sheet 3 so it's jumped to the cell B2 on sheet 3 and the PowerPoint one will just link straight to the PowerPoint file. 